It's Friday morning. We're in Mooresville. It's 10 a.m. and we're heading out to HMS Motorsport to get some new shoes, get my helmet refitted, and some new earbuds. We've been coming to HMS for about five years now, and we met Austin last year, and he's been taking care of our safety stuff ever since. Like really tight it's like really hard to get on okay ben where exactly is it tight at is it around your crown your cheek area kind of all over it's like it's pretty much all over but it's especially hard to get like on okay really and uh once you get it kind of slipped on does it feel good or is it, it still feels feel... be a lot better when i get it slipped on okay yeah so we can we can look at adjusting a few things um some of the things with the shoe helmet is the way it's kind of contoured down it tends to be a little bit snuggle as you're slipping it on which you want um, that kind of helps contour everything keep everything in place creates a lot safer helmet but also helps with noise reduction things um, but we can take a look at some stuff and see if we can adjust some padding to make it slip on and off a little bit easier so making some cheeks real quick. You want to come back and come back for what to do. I'll get you fixed up as well. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to make Ben some custom cheeks here to kind of contour his face and jawbone and stuff a little bit better. Yeah, so we have um, you know, some of the capabilities here to be able to customize a helmet for drivers like Ben. Um, you know, to make sure they get a custom, comfortable fit. You know, comfortable, but more importantly, they're so safe as well. Um, it's a couple different layers. Um, this gray layer is an acoustic foam, so that actually helps keep some of the noise out um, so that you can actually heal the radio and the crew and things like that better. Um, and then the other one's on, it's just all density foam. Um, it's all fireproof, so it'll just melt um, and it won't drip and things like that. That way it doesn't, you know, kind of bone and things to the face and stuff like that. And it's all obviously wrapped in Nomex and things. This is a Nomex tape to go on everything. So it's all fireproof and all. Thanks for that shot, buddy. Thank you. Feel better? Yeah, way better. You buckle it off, you don't mind? It's easier to get on. You buckle it? Feel good? Nice even contact and all around you? Yep, we're good. You can take it off.
So this is our Shubo SP1 full carbon fiber helmet, handmade in Italy in an autoclave, utilizing T700 carbon fiber. A few features of it is how lightweight it is, also fully customizable, so we can do different size cheek pads, crown pads, everything's pressure fit, that way we can fit it straight to the driver's head, um, using no glue or anything like that. We can integrate noise reduction meal cups, electronics, air systems, different air kits like venues, um, all fully customizable to the driver. Um, I, I, it's, I have trouble like hearing what the, my, not crew chief, but like my father's saying. Okay. And uh, what type of real hoods are you using? That's semi custom from Ray Cool. I think we got something here that'll fix it. These are new heel me heel buds. So they're actually fitted like a bean. So what it does is it'll go right in the wheel. It's a lot more comfortable than semi customs or custom heel buds because you have less material providing less pressure and things on your heel. It's also got right heel a little wax filter in there. I'm sure that'll kind of collect the wax. It, you can change that in and out that way you don't get anything clogged up in there. And there's also these different tip sizes right here that we can go ahead and change to get it to a semi-custom custom fit for you and um, figure out what fits you the best to be the most comfortable. So let me take a look in your ear real quick. Okay. Do you want me to help you with it at first? Uh, or you want to do it? I'll try. Okay. So that'll be your left ear. Just, yep, just put it in and then yep, you just gotta kinda make sure you get it all hooked in now. How's it feel? Good. Nice and sealed up and all? Yeah. A little comfortable? Cool. Let me pop it out. Try the other one too, if not actually. Let's make sure they both feel alright. The same tip size and should be good though. Just like that? Yep. How's it feel? Good. Good. Yep. The biggest thing you just want to make sure is you have this down in your ear. You know, so when you put it in, just make sure that this is where the sound's going to come out of. So just make sure that's like down into your ear now. But yeah, we look good. Okay. So, yep. We're all set though. Yeah, so we're just installing a new um, radio kit in the Ben's helmet heel. Um, that way he's got you know, really good audio quality. That way he can heal the race Siebel and his uh, his spottle when he's running out of the track. <laughs> you keep sticking them to the back of your finger. I know. You can see you will got a real good connection. Yeah. So okay. You're not gonna not gonna have any issues there. So. Cool. All right, Ben. So this is the race car shoe store. Let's try this on, buddy. Right. Yep. So it might be, it might, no. it might be a bit snug as you slip it on, just with this integrated sock heel, that will break in and loose in over time. Um, but it helps just keep bio out. It's also nice because it won't let anything, any dust, little rocks, pebbles, and things in your down in your shoe. So you can Ooh. try to slip that on, and then it uses speed lacing, so it doesn't even need to tie. You might need to like push on the ground. I find that's probably the best way to do it. You got pretty thick socks on as well. It feels good once I get it in. Super hard to get in. You got about a thumb's length. So that's ideally what you want about now. Again, being a kid, you know yeah. he's going to grab. Yeah. Hard. <laughs> what? Right yeah. That's a real painful part of all this whole thing. You ready? Yeah. And now. You should just go to enter or chip in and hide them all. Yeah. Alright. See the bag of okay? 